Good afternoon everyone! Kawa here, welcome to my live stream, glad you could make it today. So, today is more Leakin's Mystery Journey, Catriel Millionaire's Conspiracy. Last time we finished up the story and started working our way through the, through finding the extra puzzles and hint coins that appear in the cases you've already done. And hello Xander, how are you doing? Right, I think we got this one done. Two of two no, we're still only on one of two puzzles in Scotland Yard. We've got to find another puzzle in Scotland Yard. Uh, is there something up there? No. I'm not bad, not bad at all. Do you have a puzzle for me? You do have a puzzle for me! <laughs> I knew you'd come! I knew you'd want to speak to me about it sooner or later! Um, about what exactly? <laughs> As if you didn't know! You want my puzzles! You want to see if you have what it takes to solve a stash and scarf and puzzle, don't you? Oh, well, I do like puzzles, yes. Alright, what's today's first puzzle going to be then? Oh, it's this again. Box drop. Fire two cannonballs to destroy all of the boxes. You can only hit boxes in the bottom row. If a box is destroyed, the boxes above it will fall down. If the number on adjacent boxes form a sequence starting with one, all of the boxes in that sequence are destroyed. Which boxes do you need to destroy uh, to hit to destroy them all with just two cannonballs? Select a cannon to fire it at the corresponding block. Great. Okay, I need to get that one up the top, down next to that two. So I do need to fire this cannon. But do I need to fire a different one first? No, I think think they might be separate sets. Y yeah. So this one. No, no. <laughs> I do need to fire. I do need to do this one first. This one on this side first. Because otherwise that six is left over. Ta -da! Ta -da! This should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. You did it. You cleared those up nicely. Good, good. There, solved. <laughs> so, you solved it. Well then, it seems I must seek out greater challenges for you. Oh, yes, please do. I'll look forward to it. Alright, is there everything in this? Oh no, wait, there's some hint coins to find at Guildhall. Oh, was I working my way backwards? I must have been working my way backwards, that's what it was. 
Uh, where would I find hemp coins? Here, no. Here, no. That? Yes. Okay. And that. Yeah, I must. I must have started over here. Okay, mass chamber is done. Guild hall is done. Scotland Yard is done. Reception area is done. Hastings' desk. There is a hint coin over here. Excuse me, Hastings. here, I think. I am correct. <laughs> right. I think that's all of them in that one, so let's actually go back to the agency and save. a couple of puzzles apparently. Oh there was the whole other area over by the Thames wasn't there? Yeah yeah the story so far we don't need this. We've done this already. <laughs> yes of course there was the bit to go to by bicycle down to the Thames. That's what I was missing. Two more hint coins on this map. Up here? Yeah. That's London Bridge. Anything more across the skyline? No. It's about the lights. This remaining hint coin, eh? That's them. Ooh. Nope. There. Yes. Down here by the Thames, that's all of them, I believe. Which means that it's now just Chancel Lane. Chancel Lane Corner, we have a puzzle. Um, Ma'am, do you have a puzzle for me? Might be you? No, it's a hidden puzzle. Okay. Where would a puzzle be? Not in the window of Lipsky's? No. Hiding in the bush? No. This one? Nope. <laughs> Here in the chimney. Look at that! There's a puzzle dancing around in the smoke from that chimney. What are you alluding to? I don't see any puzzle. There's no time to explain, Shell. It'll float away if we don't act quickly. Alluding, huh? You've been given two very different shaped stars. The one on the left is a pointy star, and the one on the right is a flower-shaped star. Can you use both of them together to make five circles? Yeah, probably. Uh, press A briefly over a star to change its size from small to medium to large. 
Press and hold A to pick up a star so you can move it around. Use L and R to rotate it. Okay, that should be easy. Should press A. Okay, every time you tap it. So I think what we need to do is make this one bigger. And then move this one over to fit it inside. Slightly rotate it. Ta-da! This is an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. You did it. You made a new star in the shape of a flower. Or in the shape of five rings. One or the other. <laughs> that was a fun puzzle. I'm glad I spotted it before it disappeared in this puff of smoke. Okay, that's everything on Tinsel Lane Corner. There's some hint coins to find at the Lucky Glover. Section of talking about hats. Where is the last hint coin? Oh, in a draw. Yes. Alright, and then outside the latent detective agency. One hint coin. I want it to be here. <laughs> There's also a puzzle. Um, which is, is it a puppet puzzle? Would be no. Is it a mushroom head dude puzzle? It is. <laughs> well, you all look very busy. Personally, I've finished work for the day. Open brackets. Not that I get much uh, got much done after spending all day on this. Close bracket. Pipe nightmare two. Oh, it's this. Here is some very complicated pipe work. If you turn on the correct two valves out of the eight valves at the top, water will flow out of all the exit pipes at the bottom. If a pipe splits in two, the water will flow both ways, but only in a downward direction. Select a valve to open or close and decide which pipes you'll send the water down. Work out which two valves are the correct ones to get water out of to get water to all the exit pipes. The last time I did this, I made notes. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. Because I definitely found that easier. How many exit pipes are there? Also eight. So, A... A will send its water down here to here, and then it goes into this one at this side, and this one over here. So I mean, it's probably not A because that only sends water to two pipes. B splits here and it'll go down there to the first one, but it'll also go down into the second one. And then the other side of this goes to here, where it goes down and splits into the fourth one and the sixth one. That's a good candidate, it, so it, it sends water to four places. C sends water down to also the first two. And down here, through here, and to three, and five. D 
sends its water to two and four. And also four again and six. E sends its water to one and three. Six I need something that sends uh, that sends to seven and eight. Um F do, 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 do. three and five and eight and six. G and to eight. G's looking like a like a good opportunity here. G also goes down here and therefore to five and seven. Which is my first thing one that sends things to seven. And then also over here and to six and four. She's looking like a like a potentially good option. H do 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 do. H is just gonna go to six and eight. Does that mean G's the only is G the only one that sends water to No wait, wait, wait. D should be sending water to seven as well. I missed this line here. So if I picked G, I'd still need something in the first for the first three pipes, which would be C. G and C. If I've got this noted down right. Yep. I have a feeling that perhaps. Thank goodness I got that right. That is the sort of puzzle that requires notes. <laughs> you did it! Turning on valve C and G makes water come out of all the exits. Now all the pipes have water flowing through. You spent all day on that, did you? I, I think you'll find the majority of people would need their thinking caps on all day for something as complicated as that. I mean, may maybe, Bob. Maybe. Okay, I'm looking for a hint coin. Is it up here along the top somewhere? Doesn't look like it. On one of the lamp posts? No. What about this? No. Fire hydrant? No. Bin. It's in the bin. There we go. It's all of those. I just want to double check that all of the other ones are in blue now. Yep. And yes. Alright, now we can go back to the office. Back to the agency, even. Yep, complete, complete. And now let's go and clean up stuff in the third case. Puzzle in here. 
Is it from you, Mr. Staffenskarpen? <laughs> your mind told you to talk to me because your soul is crying out for puzzles. Kinda, yeah. Um, it is. <laughs> it runs so deep within you that you don't even know it's there. But I see it, boy. So here. Here is the puzzle you didn't know you were looking for. Two types of tile. Ah, we did one of these, didn't we? Some colourful tiling has been left with a few gaps. Can you, use, can you use the two types of tile to fill in the area without leaving any gaps at all? You can rotate tiles and use as many tiles as you need as long as there is space left. The only thing you can't do is place a tile over another tile, even partially. Right. I kind of want to put this one. No, that's not going to work. What if I can put one there, maybe? Actually, maybe not. Seated up there. Maybe we don't want to have this at all. Ah, wait, no. We do need this to come in here. how we then fill this bit in there. Maybe we don't do that at all. What if I have one here? Then here. No, we've still got the same problem up there now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This will fit here. And there. And there. And then another one in here. And another one there. There we go. This is an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. You did it. Now there's a lovely diamond pattern on the wall and everyone is happy. I did it! Oh, hurrah! <laughs> Nothing compares to the joy of solving a puzzle. You'll seek it ever more, boy! So when you feel the urge, come and find me. Alright. It's that room done. Let's go up to the projection box. There's a hidden coin in here. Is it here? No. Is it here? No. There? No. In a drawer. In a drawer, yes. Alright. Kiosk. There's ten hint coins here. Oh. Well, there they are. <laughs> ten hint coins all in one go. Boy. Two hint coins. Another thing that moves! <laughs> Another thing that moves every time I touch it. Yes! Doo -doo. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Just 
steamship noises. Okay. Puzzles. Do you have a puzzle for me, Mr. Popano? Popano! Popano for you, young miss! You're not selling them here as well, are you? Of course! Everyone said there would be many, many people here tonight, so Popano's! It's the perfect opportunity! Get your Popano's here! Good luck, Popano's, just for you! Tonight only, get a free puzzle with every Popano! I mean, we're interested in the puzzle. <laughs> a little girl is desperate to win a soft toy at the fairground, so she's trying her hand at a game involving ghosts and gifts. You have to line up all the gifts horizontally, vertically, or diagonally to win. But if you accidentally make a line of ghosts while you're shuffling things around, you lose. You can move the ghosts and gifts up, down, left, roll or right into any empty space. Oh yeah, I did these, this, didn't I? So if we move... This ghost down. This gift across. This ghost down. This ghost across. And this gift up. This ghost up. This gift up. This ghost across. And this gift down. This should do it, I think. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Indeed solved. You did it. The girl is delighted with the soft toy she just won with your help. What was inside those gifts, though? I mean, they're probably empty boxes, but, you know. Oh, fantastic! You solved the free puzzle already, before you even bought the Popano. You are going to buy the Popano, aren't you? Oh no, no, I feel bad. I don't think I am, no. We could have just, we could have at least bought that puzzle. <laughs> you have a puzzle for me? There you go. Which means the other one is hidden. Like that hint coin. Interesting, there's a puzzle here by the poster. I expect it's some competition or other run by the theatre, don't you think? I'm not sure that it is, actually. Well, no sense letting a good puzzle go to waste. A Knight's Quest. Oh, it's this. We did the more difficult version of this already. A princess has been snatched away to the evil king's castle. A knight has stepped up to rescue her. Unfortunately, the knight's beloved horse is a little skittish, so getting to the castle won't be easy. The horse moves like a knight in chess, in the shape of an L. You can jump, o jump over anything that's in the way, but you cannot land in a square. In you cannot land in squares with trees or poisonous lakes. Press and hold A over the horse to pick it up and move it around the board. Work out a path to the evil king's castle. Alright, if we go here, there, over here, that's not helping. I think I've just done a bit of a circle. Here. 
there. It's here. There. Here isn't gonna help. It's not going to help because my only horse will be back to where it came from. This won't really help. Uh, and then I just end, would just end up making two things back up to there. Six, seven, eight. There we go. I've seen how to solve this now. Puzzles are made for solving. You did it. Princess has been rescued. Although your beloved horse seems to have carried her away. Bad luck, brave knight, and keep up the good fight. See if you can complete the challenge in six steps. Which is uh, two less than I did. I've solved it now. Um, I was wondering, miss. Perhaps we could go and see a film together again sometime. I mean, just the two of us. The two of what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Oh, nothing, miss. Um, forget I said anything. to go by back to any other place here, which means I believe that we're done with the extra puzzles in here. Yep, confirmed. Right, we've got three more puzzles to find Madame du Blaise. Oh yeah, there's more places of the, other than the madams. Uh, one hint coin here. Is it there? Yes. River. Thought for sure there was going to be another puzzle with Staff and Scarf and the Stash and Scarf and either. But no, just hint coins. So a couple of hint coins to find. In here? Uh, nope, that's the banana boat. Mr. Lipsky? Ah, Mr. Lipsky had a puzzle. Ah, good. You are here at right time. I have a customer who has given me a tricksy puzzle I cannot solve. 
Oh, hello, Alex. I can help you with that. I'm sure. I'll have it solved in a flash. Tireless truck. This gentleman wants to drive his car to the neighbouring town. There's a lorry travelling there at the same time which can transport even the heaviest and largest of items. If the man puts all of his luggage in his car, he will need 50 litres of fuel. The fuel consumption goes down by 1 litre for each 10% of the luggage not packed in the car. What's the minimum amount of fuel the man's car will need? It goes... Fuel consumption goes down by one litre for each 10% of luggage not packed in the car. What's the minimum amount of fuel the man's car will need? Have we established that the lorry is happy to take his stuff? This feels a little too simple. Because if he puts all of his luggage into the lorry, then he should need 40. But like... Is the lorry happy to do this? Or do we need to pay the lorry? Um, the man puts all of his luggage in his car. He will need 50 litres of fuel. Fuel consumption goes down by one litre for each 10% of the luggage not packed in the car. I'll bite. I'll bite. Is the answer 40? I'm very suspicious that it probably isn't. This is an interesting one. No, I didn't think so. Oh, that's not like me. Remember, the question is asking about the minimum amount of fuel needed for the car. Are we, are we needing to do it there and back? Because we haven't been told that. Uh, let's, let's think. The key hit. Right, okay. Okay, I get it. The key here is how best to make use of, best to make use of the lorry. The answer to this question is, if we put the entire car on the lorry, we don't need any fuel. Except actually, the lorry does. So. This should do it, I think. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. At least that bring, that brings our picker outs up to a nice num round number again. You did it. The car doesn't need any fuel at all. All of his luggage plus the car itself can be transported on the back of the lorry. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we still need to pay the lorry driver. There you are, Alex. A piece of cake. You want a piece of cake? Another one? I mean, kinda, yeah. Right. There's also a hint coin to be found. Is it here? Yes. Okay, I 
a hint coin and a puzzle to find. Aha! <laughs> Rustle the bush. Rustle the bush. Rustle the bush. Um, not get distracted with that. our puzzle. Oh, what's this? An outdoor puzzle? Ah, well found, Shell. Why don't you solve it, seeing as you sniffed it out? Alright then, I need to show you perhaps what a real puzzle-solving master can do after all. Spiral Tower. Here is a cylindrical tower with an evenly spaced spiral slope going up the outside of its walls. The start point is on the ground to the left of the tower, and the goal is at the top of the tower just before the centre. How many metres long is the slope from start to the goal? How much maths do I need to do? <laughs> One, two, three, four, four and a half. But there must also be ones going between. So five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half. So it could be 850 unless they really want me to mess around with pi. Except that I only have two digits worth of space. No, sorry, it's times eight point five, not eighty-five. My, my brain. Yeah, so it's so it's eighty-five, not eight hundred and fifty at all. I mean, as I said, this assumes they don't want me to work it out with pi. This is like. It's showing me the amount, the distance for just that half in general. I just gotta hope. <laughs> A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. No? Uh, this dog won't hunt, eh? Imagine what the. Th that's what. Th 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 that's what I did. I tried to imagine how it would be on the other side. Did I, did I miscount? Right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. Oh, unless... Because it would be weird if it went straight across. Maybe it goes up here. So maybe it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 5. Maybe some of those lines are irrelevant. Submit? I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. Yeah. That was too easy. The tower has two separate slopes, one for going up and one for going down, just like in a multi-story car park. Yeah, that's fair. It's probably a good idea. Ah, that's how it's done, you see. Excellent, Shell. I see I was right to give you a job. Unpaid though it might though it may be. Alright, and Madame's parlour. Are there three hint coins and a puzzle? 
puzzle. Well, this is the puzzle by the looks of it. Oh, there's a puzzle here, look. One of the dancy plays, I suppose. Are you going to try your paw at it? Sure. Baffling bookcase. There's a photograph of a strange bookcase where up and down don't seem to make sense. To arrange the books as in the picture, what is the minimum number that would need to be glued to the bookcase to keep them in position? You can't squash books into place by jamming them up close together, by the way. The minimum number that you would need to glue to the bookcase because otherwise they don't obey gravity. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in one direction, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in the other direction. So I think it's nine and the image is upside down. Wait, no! The minimum number I would need to glue to the bookcase to keep them in position is if down was actually on this side. So therefore I would be gluing these five into position. So I think it's five. If it's not five, it's nine, but I think it's five. I've seen how to solve this now. Nope. What's the matter with me today? Then it's, it's nine, then. It's not quite as weird a bookcase as I thought it might be. Oh no, wait, no! I'm an idiot, it's only two! Because if gravity is acting down here, then it's only these two. I got half of the way there, and then, and then I mess, messed it up. Two. I've seen how to solve this now. Nope. <laughs> not good, Catriel, not good. It's probably nine then. <laughs> it's probably not quite as weird as I'm trying to make it. This is an interesting one. No? It's not like me. Wait, is the bookcase on the floor? Is, th is the bookcase lying down on the floor? And the answer is zero. Is an interesting one. Any history or any yep. puzzle solved. <laughs> it was lying on the floor. You did it. So the bookcase is lying down on the floor. You would just need to place the books in the right positions, and there would be no need to no need to fix any of them down. Yeah, that took me a little too long. I've solved it. Should I write the answer in this book here? No, Catriel. Oh yes, the face of Madame Dublé's book. I'm sure she'd be delighted with that. You're right. Puzzles are no fun if you don't work out the answer for yourself. Right. Three hint coins. Nope, that's that's the portrait we we um mistook. Maybe maybe there's something in the fruit bowl. No, we're just going to look at the fruit uh, the fruit bowl with its bits. Cat. It 
would make a good pillow as well. Ha! Ah, nope, those are fashion filings. Wait, that counts. Okay, it's it's coins in general. And there's only one good by bicycle thing, we did that already, so back to the agency. Yep. Alright, three puzzles and a couple of coins at the white residence. the puzzle? Miss Leighton, look! There's a puzzle hiding here! Well, well! A stumper, not a spook! Then in the sp spirit of puzzle solving, I'll unstump it without delay! Ghosts and gifts too! Okay, we're doing this again. Right, am I still... Am I still going to be looking at making this into a diagonal line? Ooh, that seems dangerous though, actually. Because I feel anything I move to try and get these into a diagonal line is going to make a line of spooks across here. Although actually, I suppose if I move this up first... Nope! <laughs> nope, that made a diagonal line of spooks. Um What if I can do this? I can't move that one up, no. Uh, wait. If I move this across, and then up, and then this up, and then across, and this up by two. There we go. There we go. I got around it, I got around it. This is an interesting one. And that's how it's done. And that's how it's done. You did it! The boy's chuffed to bits with that toy plane you just helped him win. Seeing how happy he it's made him is, is all the reward you need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there! It disappeared in a puff of smoke now that I've solved it. Let's say, puzzles are rather like ghosts in a way, aren't they? It's almost as though you have to solve them to let them rest in peace. Uh, certainly... Certainly a way to put it, Ernest. Uh, all of these are completed areas. So we're going back towards the Dublay residence. Uh, a puzzle. Hey, Fashion Scarfin, is it you? No. For me. Maid does have a puzzle for me. Oh dear, this is a trouble. Are you alright? You seem upset about something. I spotted this puzzle when I was gazing up at the night sky, but I can't make heads or tail of it. Ah, well, perhaps I could be of assistance then. 
Starry, starry night. Oh, it's this. When the star moves, it leaves a trail in its wake. Can you fill the whole night sky with its trail? I was not good at this the last time we had one of these. The mysterious objects floating in the sky are warp poles. They are paired according to their appearance, and when the star goes into one of them, it reappears out of the other of the pair. Use the directional buttons to move the star through all of the squares. You're not allowed to go through a square that already has a trail on it. Whew, okay. I think I probably messed this up. Uh... Nope, that's still not going to work. What about like this? Okay, I'm just going to end up with a lot of corners that was going that way. get a hint. <laughs> There's more than one route the star can take, but let's look at an example. First, move to the right and aim for the warp pole at the top right. Okay, so it wants me to start this way. I suppose I could then... wait, no. I want to come down here. that maybe and then now I'm still missing point that way ah oh, wait I'm close I'm close all right if we go down here Nope. 
That was close, but not quite right. Right, aim for this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a second hint. Following on from hint one. After warping to the bottom left, move down, down right, down right up, right down. Down, right, up, right, down. Sorry, what was the rest of that instruction? Then follow the outer edge. Okay. And then we go round here. Ah, uh, okay. And now we can just go up here and then use this to go like that. This should do it, I think. And that's how it's done. That's how it's done. You did it. The night sky is shining brightly with all of the beautiful star trails. It's more than one possible route, so see if you can find some other ways to light up the sky. How about no? Ah. Oh, you've solved it! That's smashing! Thank you so much! I'd be more than happy to help you with any puzzles that are troubling you in the future. Puzzles are what I do best. Alright. Now I just need to find a hint coin. Wait, was there something over... No. You're not going to give me a hint coin either. Wait, wait, wait. That lantern. The hint coin was in the chandelier, but where? this puzzle. Hello puzzle. Here? There it is. Oh gosh, if you look closely at this picture, there's a puzzle attached to it, see? You're right. Why don't we see if your mind is as sharp as your eyesight and stripes? Try to solve it. Good idea, Shell. If I show Miss Leighton I'm a skilled puzzle solver, She'll start to see me more as just the nope, nope, nope. Try that line again. She'll start to see me as more than just her assistant. I wouldn't get your hopes up, pup. Picture in pieces. Oh, it's one of these. Let's put this picture back together. Slide each of the pieces in the picture into the into the right position. Then place the pieces outside the frame into the empty spaces. Press and hold A to pick up a piece and move it around, but you can't move pieces outside the frame. They also cannot overlap or be moved through each other. Alright. This has got to end up in that corner. This has got to be next to it. I have a feeling this needs to get all the way to the opposite side. Or maybe not. Yeah, I think it does. Actually, no, it should go... Yeah. Where does this piece go, though? Mm -hmm. 
that maybe over there that like that and that like that okay yep yeah, that works Boop. 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 if you'll entertain my idea here thank goodness i got that right you did it the, p the picture has been perfectly put back together nice one see if you can manage this in just 14 steps i'm bad at slide puzzles game so no there did you see that miss i solved it miss bad luck pinstripes she had to go see a man about a dog oh bother i really wanted her to see that yeah, tough luck, Pinstripes. Uh, that looks like all of them. So back to the agency? Yep, that's all of those. Three more puzzles and a lot of coins in the bank. of the hint variety. But some special farthings also seem to count. There we go. Hint coins obtained. On the tower bridge. I need to find the hint coin. It's not in the same place as the last time we were here. It's not going to be that because that's important. It's not going to be... Mm. No. It's not going to be the mutt because he's important. Here? Yep, yeah, that's the coin. Where would I find a puzzle? Hmm? No, that's that. Pretty sure... Nope, you do have a puzzle for me. Hello Nick, how are you doing? Ah, uh, top of the morning to ya! You know, I came across a funny old bridge on the job one day. There was something distinctly puzzling about it. I don't suppose I can interest you in an interesting tale of that ilk? Of course you can! Ah, uh, you had your D&D. Hope you had fun. Undone Bridge. Standing poised atop a deep blue hexagon, a white triangle reminiscent of a mountain. This is the legend behind the coat of arms that adorns the village bridge. The tiles that formed the coat of arms were knocked down in a storm the other day, and need to be put back in the right place. Press and hold A of a, a tile to pick it up, move it to the right position. If you need to rotate a tile, press L or R while you're holding it. The tiles must not overlap or stick out from the frame. Standing poised atop a deep blue hexagon. A white triangle reminiscent of a mountain. Well, we've got to have a deep blue hexagon. Beyond that, I'm not really sure. Standing poised atop a deep blue hexagon. A white triangle reminiscent of a mountain. How am I supposed to make that with only... Mm. Actually, wait. Oh, 
what if <laughs> what if this yeah, that doesn't work how have the puzzles been some of them have been more difficult than others like this I have not a clue where I'm going with this one Hints, please. A triangle on top of a hexagon. That's basically what the legend was saying, so this is the, the design you need to have in mind. Oh yeah. Actually, what if... Yeah, that's not gonna help me. like I'm missing a piece. <laughs> you know? Give me another hint, please. The atop the legend is talking about is the shape being in the foreground. Ah, yeah, okay. I was almost there. So actually what I need to do is this. <laughs> Do it, I, I was trying to do a top as in up. Any puzzle solved. You did it! The coat of arms has been restored. The legend was telling how it was a white triangle placed on top of a blue hexagon. Your reporting work takes you all over the place, doesn't it, Douglas? When something's afoot, my legs do the walking, as I like to say. Never miss a scoop, me! You sure don't, Dirt. You sure don't. Hint coins... maybe here? Maybe... nope. Wait, there was something... nope. Maybe that? Great. Hint coin up here, no. There, no. The one here also, no. Up top. There we go. On the door. Can we move our way in. A puzzle. I mean, it's not going to be from you, sir, because you're an important part of the um, of the story. This is where it is. Nope. That's an undercover umbrella. Maybe you do have a puzzle for me. Nope. <laughs> well, it was worth checking. Oh, did I check this teller window? I didn't check that teller window. I suppose people who work in banks have to do paperwork all day every day, don't they? Well, yes, that is their job. And even we have to do paperwork sometimes, don't we? When we're not busy on a case. That's a royal we, if ever I heard it one. Oh, there's a puzzle 
Oh, hey, look. Thanks to this pile of papers. Ernest, good luck. Boy meets girl too. Okay, yes, yeah, this one. The boy and the girl are lost in a maze. Guide them each in turn along the paths until they meet, switching between controlling the boy or the girl using L and R, and move and move them using the directional buttons. And they tread on a switch on the ground. Any gates with the matching flowers elsewhere in the maze open up. Okay, so I think if we go over here. Wait, no, no, because someone needs to get no. Girl needs to open up the blue so that the boy can get around to the red. Oh, I don't think that works either. Nope. <laughs> Great. The boy needs to stand on yellow there, so that the girl can get through here to step on blue. And then the boy can go up there to stand on red. The girl gets off that blue one and onto this blue one. And then the two can meet. So in conclusion, thank goodness I got that right. You did it! It was lonely in the labyrinth, but friendship helped, uh, friendship helped them find their way through the hedges. Well done, Ernest! That's the right answer! All that bookwork at the office has obviously paid off, miss. I'm glad I turned my hand to it. Had it turned, you mean? Hard. Manager's office. Just coins. Okay. Where would I find coins? In the paperwork? No. In here? Nope. In the safe? Nope. <laughs> In the vase? Yep, three fashion farthings and that's the coins that we needed. Got a puzzle at the vault door. I do like this vaulted ceiling of the vault. You don't have a puzzle for me? Nope. Do you have a puzzle for me, Mr. Mr. Guard? Absolutely not. It's well hidden, this puzzle, eh? Card looks intimidating. He does, doesn't he? He's staring at you like, Oi! <laughs> Why 
Why is this puzzle? I'm rather lacking in places to look. Oh, there we go. That'll be it. Right there. I wasn't expecting a puzzle to jump out at me from somewhere like that. No, who could have hidden the puzzle there? It must have been the bank manager, I suppose. Possibly. We can't find that out, really. But what we can find out is how to solve it. Piped numbers. These pipes have been joined together to express two two-digit numbers. The upper number is 98. What is the lower number? The upper number is... Okay, yeah, yeah, I see. It's a 9, top, top of the loop there and down there, and then an 8 out of here. Which means this one's going to be 86. Is an interesting puzzles are made for solving. You did it. The pipes show two digits joined together. The top half is the tens, and the bottom half is the units. Oh, well done, Miss. Well done indeed. You astounded us by finding a puzzle in the finding the puzzle in the first place. And now you've astounded us again by solving it. <laughs> well, thank you for the glowing praise, Ernest. Now, back to the case. Alright. Vault interior. Where there is ten hint coins to find, they'll all be in one thing. Uh, it's not here. Gold, isn't it? Here, no. There. Ta da! Ten hunt coins. And that's all of those done, so we can go back to the agency. Exactly. Ratman music. That's that hint coin. All of these areas are done. Which means that everything else is at Bowling Hill. Bowling Green. Hey. <laughs> Stash and Scarfin. Nope. You're not the one with the puzzle for me. Running Lady? Yes. Good evening. You're jogging around Bolin Hill, are you? <laughs> of course. Where there's a way, there's a weldon. I run any anywhere and everywhere. You always make exciting discoveries when you run down streets you've never covered you've never covered before. Like new puzzles. This one, for example. Why don't you see if this takes your fancy? Surfs up. The boards belonging to the four great surfer dudes got muddled with some other boards. Three of them have been found, but one is still missing. 
The four great surfer dudes all have boards following the that follow the same theme. Which is the board they're looking for? Okay. So we've got... We're going to... I guess we've got to assume that these are the three to start with. So they're all symmetrical with sort of bubbly things like this. Is it going to be B? I think it feels like it should be B. I don't think it's C or D. And I don't think it's A either. So B. If you'll entertain my idea here. Nope. That wasn't right. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> oh, fiddlesticks. Very polite, Ernest. Is it going to be A then? Too polite for his own good. <laughs> I mean, did you really if want to? Did my idea here? Nope. I don't cut the mustard at all. Did you really I... want Ernest to, you know, use the other F word? I don't understand why it's not one of these ones with the rounded things. I mean, I guess I can just... It's 50-50 so now. <laughs> nope! <laughs> I don't cut the mustard at all, do I? <laughs> it's the last one. Try to see what the patterns have in common. Yeah, I tried to see what the patterns had in common. But, um... It didn't help me. So in it has to be this one, because it's the only Still one we have to pick. Of course. The board they were missing has a diamond on it. Oh. Oh. I see. The four great surfer dudes all have boards with their, with card suits cut in half and lined up on their sides. I don't think I was get, gonna get that. <laughs> How on earth is that one on the right a heart? These rounded bits are far too narrow. That was a capital little puzzle. Thank you. I could tell you were enjoying it. You were smiling from ear to ear. Puzzle. You don't have a puzzle for me, right? Yes, because you're here to talk to me about Ratman. In the bin? Nope. No puzzles in the bin. in there apparently. Hold it cat, I smell a rat in here. A rat or a mouse? I a puzzle. And now my muzzle's all cob all cobwebby. I may as well solve it. Pop up 
prairie dogs. Oh, we've done this. We've done one of these. There are prairie dogs living in some holes that are connected by tunnels underground. They pop up if they sniff a carrot nearby, and they go back into their holes if you go near them. Holes that are joined by tunnels and adjacent to each other are linked, and the prairie dogs in those holes react as well. Select the holes in the right order so that there are prairie dogs peeping out from all of them. No! <laughs> I was close. Close but not quite right. Um, this is fine. We're just going in circles now. <laughs> right. Okay. There. There. Here. Here. And that one. There we go. That's how I you do it. I ain't nothing but a hound dog. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. You did it! There are prairie dogs peeping out of every hole. Hunger went, over, went out over shyness. The shortest way to solve this is in five steps. Can you do it? Yes, I did do it! Hooray! <laughs> there, that's a solution! The real puzzle is why it was in that mouse hole to start with, though. Perhaps a mouse found it and dragged it back to its home? Perhaps indeed. There is a hint coin in here. Is it there? No. Is it here? No. Is it in the light? Yes. <laughs> Think I went out in the shyness. You're ordering in an unfamiliar chip shop. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Although, I mean, when it comes to chip shops, I I usually end up ordering the same thing anyway, so <laughs> that kind of helps. this coin? I feel like I've looked at everything. Go 
probably here somewhere. Wait, wait, wait. There. Whew. That took, that took longer than I expected. Oh no, Cat's Journal is the, is the wrong button. That button. That button there. Because I do believe that was everything in there. Puzzles and two coins on the god on the golden goddess, goddess of the Thames. Close to solving everything. Mm hmm Certainly getting there. Feels like these coins are getting more difficult to find. something that <laughs> finally a puzzle in the standard class cabin is it here yes <laughs> well would you look at that cat was right they do leave puzzles in the cabins for passengers enjoyment his cat's puzzle more deluxe than ours though <laughs> I think I only missed getting into the better cabin by a gnat's whisker. We don't need to start to start comparing, Shell. Watching Tele Fiasco 3. You've decided to visit a fabulous fortune teller. But it turns out you can decide your own fate with a little bit of brain power. If you can stack all of the cards onto the discard pile, you'll have good luck. The only rule is you must either follow number or suit when placing a card onto the pile. So get stacking and take control of your own destiny. Okay, so I've clearly got to start with a diamond. So it depends which way around we're going to do this. If we use the 9 to go over here, then we can use the 7 to go up to there. But then we can't get over here, so we've got to use the three to get up to here. Actually, no, because that doesn't work. Actually, no, nine. Nine. Seven, then seven, six, 
five, back to the diamonds, five, three, and over two, the spades. Get those little grey cells engaged. So I solved that little conundrum, eh? Hooray, you did it. The swirling mists of your fortune are clearing. I see, I see a spade card. You're about to dig a big hole. <laughs> the recipe for frozen lemon tart. <laughs> the recipe we needed. Oh, I say, well done, Inspector. You're a credit to Scotland Yard. <laughs> Go on, sunshine. I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. When my little lemon doesn't cook eggs. Take a big hole, literally. I mean, maybe. Or figuratively. But anyway, we can now finish ideal meal. By swapping this out for the frozen lemon tart. Fresh Nouvelle offering of granita and lemon cream on a tart base. I hope I haven't kept you waiting too long. Here it is then, your ideal meal. <laughs> what fun, I can't wait! Oh yes, oh Catriel, this was just what I was hoping for, it really got the juices flowing. That healthy papaya salad with its spicy tang was an absolute dream. Then the mix of flavours in the soup and the curry! And finally that smooth and sophisticated dessert? It was just right for cooling me down after all those spicy treats before it. Perfect. I'm so glad I found a combination that pleased your palate, Pe Pepper. You see, even Guildhall can't set a puzzle that a Leighton can't solve. You'd love a frozen lemon tart, huh? I'm not the biggest fan of lemon, so I would pass. There's a puzzle. Hello, little girl, do you have a puzzle? I thought so. Oh, what are you doing in my cabin, please? Sorry, I was exploring, but then I got lost. The ship is so big. Would you like to do something together? I got a really terrific puzzle. You, you want to do something with me? And not with Cachiel? Um, well. <laughs> Rather taken aback there, wasn't she? Rock, paper, scissors, tower, two. Ah, it's this again. Insert an icon in place of every question mark so that all the games are a tie. To do this, you need you either need all three icons in each game to be different, or all three icons to be the same. The number of times you can use each icon is limited. Four rock, three scissors, three paper. Oh, I don't remember how we did this before. Actually, wait. Four, three, and three. Okay. If we have rock up here, in that corner, and over here, and in the middle, then we should be able to do this fairly easily. Scissors there. Paper. Scissors. Paper. Scissors. Paper. Collate the data, and the answer will drop out. That was just a simple piece of profiling work. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. You did it! You made all of the games tie and created a rock-paper-scissors tower. There are a couple of ways to do this, so why not try figuring out another combination? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> there you are! That's how you solve it, you see? Wow, that was a you're amazing! Do you know the way back to your cabin, or do you need me to help you? No, I'll be fine. Thanks. Alright, and the last thing to do is down here in the engine room. Int coin. You're an 
important thing. You're an important thing. Up here. No. not looking among the moving machinery because that would be a terrible place to poke your finger. Ooh, wait a second. No, that was against this. Maybe it was here. No. Instead, it's not really the buttons, but I'm gonna just in case. There we go. Hit coin found. And a puzzle. Uh, do you have a puzzle for me, sir? Yep. <laughs> ah, I love this engine room. Fantastic place. Give me a fantastic idea for my next film. Gosh, you never stop thinking about your about your films, Mr. Rector. Never! Oh, you're going to be in for a treat when I finish my next masterpiece, my friend. Actually, I was hoping to make use of this puzzle in my next film as well. But unfortunately, I can't figure it out. You're a clever young man. You could solve it, couldn't you? If it'll help my favourite director, I'll certainly give it a jolly good bash. Fraught Fishing 3. This is the one with the shark, isn't it? Yep. Sharks are on the prowl at a very popular fish. No, sharks are on the prowl at a popular fishing spot, and they're very hungry. You have three different kinds of baits to catch all the fish in the area, but you can't afford to throw any bait too close to a shark, or it will notice and try to bite. Where should you throw your precious bait? Your bait attracts all fish, all the fish, including any sharks, within a certain range of where you throw it. But each different type covers a different range. You can't throw the bait directly on top of a fish. That might hurt them. Okay. What have we got here? We could... Let's try checking that there. Wait, I shouldn't be dropping this here, should I? Because then the shark will... Yep. How do I get those ones up there? What, what do you do? Aha! That one up there. You did it. Surely you can't eat all those fish yourself. Think of the poor sharks. They're starving. <laughs> that one's drooling in the background. <laughs> uh, uh, so that's the answer. Yes, it's very clever. Just what I was looking for. So, do you think it'll prove useful for your next film? Will you be able to include it somehow? Oh yes, I'm sure I will. You've really helped me consolidate my ideas with that. I must make a note so I don't forget. Gosh, I can't wait to see how it turns out. I believe that's now all of the bits. So, back to the agency.
puzzles in case nine. They're inside the police station. Uh, Mr. Shady, maybe? Yeah, Mr. Shady's got a puzzle for me. Uh, this is such a pain. Stupid puzzle. Why did the professor have to go and set us something hard anyway? If it's a puzzle that's troubling you, is it? Perhaps I can be of assistance then. Let's see. Guess my age. Someone has sent a mysterious challenge. See if you can work out my age. If you add 20 to my age, the number is divisible by my age. If you add together the tens and units of my age, they make five. What is the person's age? Okay. If you add 20 to my age, the number is divisible by my age. If you add together the tens and units, it makes five. So if we're adding together the tens and units and making five, then it's either a one and a four, or a two and a three. So that sums up the numbers we've got then. Actually, technically, technically, it could also be a 5 and a 0. So there's only 6 options for this guy's age. Either 5, 14, 23, 32, 41, or 50. I'm assuming that it's divisible by my age means evenly and not into uh, a whole bunch of um, <laughs> not, not into a whole bunch of decimal points so if you added 20 to 5 you'd get 25 and that would be divisible by 25 so we could be 5 If so, smart five-year-old. Um, <laughs> could it be any of the others? I don't think... I'm not sure it could be any of the others, actually. No, wait, sorry. If I divide by... Yeah. I, I think five's the only one that works. Smart five-year-old. I could be wrong. <laughs> but I don't think so. Interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. You did it! It's the only possible age the person could be is five. That's one clever five-year-old. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that wasn't bad, actually. I suppose you helped me out. A bit. The words you're looking for are thank and you. In that order. Uh, eh? Oh, um... Alright then, thank you. And then over to Hastings' room. Where am I gonna find a puzzle in all this mess, eh? In the drawer? No. Ah, a 
up here. In the clock. Oh, there's a puzzle hiding here, look! The Super Stitcher's number one conundrum! The Houses of Hanoi again, huh? A new design of house allows you to arrange the floors however you like. Just select a building to hoist off the topmost floor with the crane and move it to another plot of land. Your task is to make all the houses look as they appear on the plans. However, houses can only have a, up to four floors max. You have a maximum of 25 hoists with the, with the crane in which to achieve your goal. Okay, okay, okay. If we stick all the yellows over there, bring this blue over here, put this on top of there, then we put the blue back over there. Shift. Do they have to be side by side like that, or can they just be like this? Except that's not actually going to help us. Uh huh. This here, that there, that one over to the top, and then we just do these three in reverse order. In exactly the number of hoists we had. So, in conclusion... Thank goodness I got that right. Thank goodness indeed. You did it! You were wearing a hard hat for all that construction work, weren't you? Yeah, I was wearing a hard hat! Inspector Hastings is clearly a very busy man, isn't he? Too busy to tidy up, that's for sure. Or too bone idle. I believe that's all of these. Let's just double check back at Chancel Lane, but I think... Wait, did we start at Chancel Lane or not? I can't remember. I don't think we did. Is there any here? No. Okay, we're good. Back to the agency. Right. I'm going back into case 10. But first, actually, I'm going to go get myself some more water. And I will be right back.
I pretend? Right. Got a couple of puzzles and four coins to find in case time. This other hidden coin is. Or the puzzle, of course. There's the other hidden coin. Is the puzzle over here? No. Not DC Booker. And thank you for the welcome back. I guess that I guess it's with the Papa. Puzzle Papa. Say Yappa. Yep. 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 Oh look, that little dog sitting by a puzzle. It's almost as if he wants to solve it. Perhaps I'll give it a try. Shoe shuffle three. This one again, huh? The shoes by the front door are in a complete mess. Tidy them all up so they're in their correct pairs. Move the double-ended arrow be between the various shoes using the directional buttons and select, to s uh, and select to switch the two shoes at either end of the arrow. You can switch left, right, or up, down, but you only have ten shuffles in total to get everything right. Okay. I think I want to do that. One, two, three. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, uh, these ones are the wrong way around. Ten. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, I thought I'd done it. No. Thank goodness I got that right. You did it. Actually, this is quite good fun. If only all tidying was a puzzle. Right? <laughs> if only. Phew, I did it! Yep, yep, yep. I hope that means you're happy. If only we could speak to dogs. Yeah, that, that's, that's in your future, Ernest. A talking dog. Uh, there's a puzzle. Does the cat have the puzzle? Yes. Oh, it's the same cat again. It's got something, look. Well, I never, it's a puzzle. I think it wants us to solve it. It's my turn, I believe. stamp. Here we have five handkerchiefs. They're all the exact same shape, colour and size. Using a round stamp you need to mark the handkerchiefs so they can all be told apart. What is the fewest number of times you need to use the stamp? Uh, I assume we're counting the, the, the stamps that are already there. 
in which case I feel like I'd want to put one like here on the corner here so that this one would have that and a tiny corner bit and this one would have not quite a full circle and then ditto here to put part of a stamp onto the edge of this one and an extra part of a stamp onto this one and then we've definitely got five different ones so two stamps two stamps i've seen how to solve this now apparently not, not good catriel not good fine give me a hint just because there are five handkerchiefs doesn't mean you have to use the stamp five times i know i figured out how to do it with just two the shape of the stamp and the location that it's stamped would enable you to tell the difference between the handkerchiefs yes Handkerchiefs don't have to be stamped with a circle. Yes! I'm just trying to figure out why my, why my choice of two isn't correct. Give me the super hint. How about lining up several handkerchiefs and stamping them all in one go? Are we not supposed to be paying attention to where the, where, to where the handkerchiefs currently are? Like, is that where I've been misunderstanding this? So, I mean, I guess you could use it one time if I'm moving them. Mm, this should do it. Any mystery or any puzzle. Yeah, apparently the image is uh, just an image. You only need to use the stamp once. You just need to line the handkerchiefs up so that they reach stamp with a different amount of the stamp. As long as only one handkerchief is left unstamped, they can be told apart. Yeah, so the the stamps that were already on them were entirely irrelevant. <laughs> That's not helpful. There, all done. Is that better now, Puss? It sounds like no or how. But the little chat seems happy enough. Alright, so then we've got a coin to go find with the goats. Hello, goats. Go check the business district. Yep, that's done too. Back to the agency. Do, 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 do. puzzles and 15 coins in case 11. Enough, I'm going to push the sign a few times for good luck. Okay. Yep. Yep. There's the horde of pent coins. Just 
schon Selene gerade. Hast du Puzzle? Uh, which of you has a puzzle, do you think? Is it these two? No. Is it you? Nope. Is it you? Yes, it is. It's Wooster. Ah, Miss Layton. A curious note arrived at the residence for Miss White. A most troubling note. For it contained a puzzle. Would you be so kind as to solve it? Go with the flow three. Some juice vats are connected up as shown. There's a four litre, seven litre, eight litre and ten litre vat in the system. When you select a tap, juice flows in the direction of the arrow on the tap until either the vat it's coming from is empty or the vat it's filling up is full. Divide up the juice so the two tanks on the left are full exactly to the red line marks. Alright. in here, that's not quite right. I've got to get these fives, that's annoying. I'm just rotating with absolutely no use at all. I would like to actually undo all of that. Right, let's just hit the try again. <laughs> Nope. I'm just not good at this one. Give me a hint, please. 
Let's consider the problem for a moment. You need to divide up 10 litres of juice into two lots of 5 litres. You have a 4 litre vat at the bottom there. So if you can find a way to obtain 1 litre, you should be able to see your way to the answer. You can find a way to get 1. Wait. Get one. That's a two. How do I get a one? Uh, I think I mucked it up. had something in my brain just then, and then it went away. Now I keep being able to make two. Give me a second hint. To start with, divide up the 10 litres into the big vat into 8 litres. Divide up the 10 litres into the big vat into 8 and 2. Okay. Into 8 and 2. And put this in there and that in there. That was what it said, right? Eight and two. Let the two go into the bottom and top that bat up, bat up from the central tank. Then you have six and four. Uncertain how that helps me in, but sure. No, I am uncertain, because that's just going to get me two again. Four litres from the bottom vat, up into the main, refill the bottom from the central and also put that in. Up into the main, refill this and put that in. Then I've got eight and... Ah! I've got eight. Yeah, then we put it into the seven, and we've got we've got a two. Then we put this two down, put two from that down, and then we're golden, or I suppose orange. I I've suppose seen we're how orange. to solve this now. Puzzles are made for solving. 
You did it! The brain juices are really flowing today. I mean, I hope that's not brain juice. I hope it's orange juice or apple juice. I don't think brain juice would be very tasty. But yes, the brain juices are really flowing. Sometimes out of my ears. Um... A killer performance, ma'am. Most heartwarming. It is my belief that one of Miss White's occult loving acquaintances is responsible for delivering this note to the residents. I mean, you probably already used your brain juices for playing D&D, &D, right, Nick? I'll put a hint point to find. in the clouds. On the other one on the other side? Ah yes, nice and nice and neat and symmetrical, we like that. The wolf has a coin. Then it was a bull in the hill. There's a puzzle here and a coin. Mr. Punch, you got a puzzle for me? You do? This is just the end. I've been trying to crack this puzzle since our man gave us Bracky this morning. Present picking. Some 
kids want to give their friend A a badge as a present. B only knows the kind of uh, the kind of picture A would like, and C only knows the kind of shape. B says there's more than one option picture-wise. There's a badge with the picture A likes on it that's that's shaped like no other badges. C says there's more than one option shape-wise, but hearing what B said narrowed it down. What badge should they give to A? Is it gonna be the bunny one with a star on it? Because there isn't any other stars? Or is it gonna be the black cat badge in the pentagon? Because there aren't any other pentagons. There's more than one option picture-wise. There's a badge with the picture A likes on it that's shaped like no other badges. So it's either one or five. And C says there's more than one option shape-wise, but hearing what B said narrowed it down. Between those two. Yeah. I mean, clearly the star one's better. <laughs> I, can, I can just do one and then the other if I fail, right? Since I've cut it down to two, I'll 50 50. It's not, it's not the star the with the fun. Then I guess it's the pentagon with the black cat. I've seen how to solve this now. No? Not good, Catriel, not good. Wait, what 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 why 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 is it not that? Picture-wise, there's a badge with the picture I likes on it that's shaped like no other badges. What? I don't understand. Give me a hint. Look at what B said. It's tantamount to saying that the correct picture is on a badge with a unique shape. The only two badges that don't share a shape with others are the star shapes and pentagonal ones. In other words, the right Yeah, the right picture is either on either the rabbit on the star shaped badge or the cat on the pe on the pentagonal one. Oh, but that's not the right shape. That's not the right shape. And then if what B said narrowed it down, then it's probably the cat on the square badge. Right. This is an interesting one. No. <laughs> What's the matter with me today? I don't understand. C knows the shape A likes, but not the picture. But C can't narrow down the options purely with knowledge of the shape. That means the correct badge must be one of several of the same shape. Oh, okay. I I I understand now. I think. So it's one of the bunny ones. I think it's the bunny on the square. Bunny on square. Maybe. If it's not, it's bunny on circle, so. Should do it, I it's think. bunny on circle. <laughs> oh, that's not like me. I'm supposed to figure that out with just the information available to me in one attempt. I don't I don't get it. Oh, or is it because there's only two circles, but only one of them is within the two that... My brain is running out of juice. <laughs> and that's how it's done.
Well, Bisa told you the picture should be a rabbit or a cat, and because C said there was more than one option shape-wise, you knew it had to be a shape shared between multiple badges, so a circle or a square, which meant that since there's both a square rabbit badge and a square cat badge, it had to be the round rabbit one. Uh, don't you just wish people said what they mean sometimes? Yes. <laughs> now that's impressive. You got a pretty good head on your shoulders there, eh? <laughs> Maybe. Well, thank you. I've always found puzzles come naturally to me. He's not a bad pup, but he really looks like a ruffian, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Now, where is... Ooh. Hello. A razor-sharp razor. Well, I... You, you, you'd hope that a razor would be razor sharp, right? Yep, not in the bin either. Oop. There. There's the hint coin. Have some of those. Bin to the other two locations. So back to the agency it is then. and three more coins in case 12. So there's something in Richmond's study, which is a puzzle. Nope, that's not a puzzle. These. I forgot that these were a thing. No! No, I accidentally selected them again! No! I'm gonna go through this again. Press A too many times. <laughs> like when you're at the Pokemon Center. here. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Meow. Hi Patch, how did, you get, how did you get in here? Oops, sorry, take out a cat nap, were you? I don't know why you cats don't just call it a nap like the rest of us. An unoccupied palace is like heaven on earth for a cat. found a puzzle while you've been exploring the place, have you? You clever cat! Says the clever cat. Um. <laughs> oh no, not crate crowding. Crate crowding three. You need to get through the storeroom, but there are countless crates of different shapes and sizes blocking your way. Select a crate and hold down A to move it up, down, left or right. Clear a path through the storeroom from the entrance at the top left to the exit at the bottom right. I am bad at slide puzzles. Hmm. 
Nope, that's not gonna get me anywhere. Nope, hints please, I need a starter. There's a way to solve this puzzle in just 13 steps. First, push the inverted L-shaped crate in the top right uh, up and into the gap on its left. Then the large square crate up into the top right corner. Okay, so if we start by moving these. Then I guess we move this out the way. Move this out of the way. Move this square one over here. Move these long ones down. So press, pull that all the way down there. Put that down there, that across there. I'm gonna put that up there. Put that down there, that to there. I think I've scuppered myself again. Wait, no, down one. Put that one over there. Put that up there. That. I feel like I'm close, but not quite. up here. Pull this across. What if we pull this across? These two down. This one all the way down. This one part of the way down. That's across there and up there. Actually if we do that, actually I want to I want to pull this one back across here I think. That down there, that down there. This across here and down there. That up. Oh wait, no. I'm close, but I'm not quite there. Nope, give me the next step, hints. Horizontal green crate up and to the left. Up and to the left. And the other green crate up and to the right. For four steps. Okay. Then we can move. Wait, this across to there. Down. Oh, no. That up there. No, that's not going to do it. Yeah. 
Nope. Oh, I want another hint. My brain is failing me. Large crate up into the little indentation above it on the right. That's what I- that was the next thing I did. And the green crate's on the bottom left all the way over. Yeah, nope, that's... shit. Uh, I just undid it all. That's not what I was planning on doing. Um, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. The L goes up there. This one goes up there. That goes up and over here. This goes over there. That goes up into there. And this comes across. Move the two green crates on the left down and right so that the L shape can all go all the way down. Oh, okay. So then if we move this into here... Move this up there, that up there, and pull this down. It's an interesting one. And that's how it's done. You did it! I mean, I needed a lot of help on that one. <laughs> what a cracking crate mover you are. I wonder if you've seen who's been coming and going around here recently. I wonder if only cats were clever enough to talk. But they're not. I mean, you're also the only talking dog, so... Two puzzles on the road to ruin. One of them is probably this cat. Little puss, did you lose at the puzzle party too? This cat doesn't look crazy enough to accept an invitation to a mysterious party hosted by someone she doesn't know. Oh, and look! The, pu the puss has a puzz! Shape shenanigans. The picture shows the shapes on the left turn into the shapes on the right. Using the same method, what would the bottom shape turn into? Okay. We're placing one of its segments onto the top of it. Just an additional one onto the top middle. Or possibly not the middle, I'm not sure. Or is it an additional one, or is it... Um... Yeah, because we're definitely adding to them. So is it A? It's either A or... A or D? Because the other ones are also symmetrical? I want to go with D, I think. A good puzzle is something you have to chew on. Nope. That was just a warm-up one, wasn't it? <laughs> P 
for Upside Down Show. Trying to work out the method that's been used to change the shapes. No! <laughs> I refuse. Um, I mean, it could be B equally. Oh, wait a second. If those lines on the ones on the left are like if you folded them up, you'd then take that shape and add it to the. T no! Oh, 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 I get it, I get it now, I get it now. Those are fold lines. Well, they're not fold lines, but they're the lines of a bit that's folded. So you fold the green one upwards to make the point if you fold the pink one upwards to make the point. So if you fold out and upwards the blue one, you get a shape that isn't on those options. Ah! <laughs> it, no, actually, you could, you could get C because we can't see the bottom right of the thing. So you could get C. We're gonna go with C. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. They do call me Sherlock. She comes laughing. <laughs> that, 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 that took a bit for me to notice that one. <laughs> you did it. So if you open up the shapes that have been folded in half, they turn into the shapes on the right hand side. Imagining the shapes as pieces of paper helps. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Hope we didn't scare you, puss. Anyway, we'll leave you alone now. Uh, I, I can't. I can't do a purring noise. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, that's not quite right either. I used to be able to do a purring noise. I've lost the neck. Is the other puzzle over here with the bottles? No. Is it? Nope, it's not the lamp. It's not lit. It's not down there. Is it this lamp? No. Ah! Hiding in the rubble. Careful where you put your paws, Shell. There's a lot of loose rubble on the floor here. Chandeliers and grand portraits in the rooms, and they can't even put some concrete down in here. Poor effort. It's all part of Adonis's plan. He wants to make the losers feel the gravity of the situation. So you think the Sly Dog arranged it to be like this? Yes. I wonder if he arranged this puzzle to be here too. All shapes and sizes. There are some symbols on a mural inside some ruins, but the right hand side of the symbol at the bottom is missing. Assuming that the symbol at the bottom is created in the same way as the symbols at the top, which one would it be? Choose the correct one from the four options. Okay. Assuming it's created in the same way. We... Assuming it's created in the same way as the symbols at the top. going to be C because the ones at the top don't have a 
like second floaty line. The ones at the top you would be able to draw in one go. So I think yeah, you could still do B like it, it still do D like that. Mm hmm. Created in the same way. But I don't really understand what created in the same way would be. I think I want it to be B. No, I think I want the first hint actually. Try to find something. The symbols at the top have in common with each other. Why not start by covering up the right hand sides? Oh, I guess. I guess you've sort of got a large, half of a large circle attached to half of a small circle. And then on the other side you've got half of a large triangle attached to half of a smaller triangle but then with some wiggles uh, so B or C Except that, as I said, C isn't connected to anything. So B, B. I like B. Mm, this should do it. No. I think. <laughs> not good, Catriel. Not good. C then. Should do it, I think. And that's how it's done. Well, at least the picker outs are a nice, neat number again. Now you know how the mural looked when it was complete. The symbols are formed by shrinking the. Ra oh wait, yeah, because we had w we had a square and a square already. Whoops. Symbols are formed by shrinking the right hand side to half its original size. Uh, I see. I, so I was sort of there. I was sort of there. Perhaps I must did put this puzzle here so the losers wouldn't be bored while they're waiting. Well, if that's the case, it sounds like you might be, be, be of better breeding than I thought. Alright, so there. In the treachery, there is a hint coin. I don't think it's there, no. the scent coin. Wait a second. Sure, I put the cursor over there before. 
can go around into the entrance hall where there is a hint coin somewhere. Is it here? Nope. Aww, look at that. Lovable lake dweller. So cute. Same alcove on the other side? Hint coin, hooray. And then the Rosenberg room. Where there is also a hint coin. Small Nessie indeed, yeah. Hello, Ones. How are you? Welcome to the stream. There's the hint coin. Alright, and I think that's all the ones in this one as well. So if we go back to the agency... With our 170 puzzles solved. We look at the board and let's just double check we've got everything. Yep, 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 yep. Yep! Right, that would be all of them. How old am I? I'm 34. Yeah, that's all of the puzzles complete. Obviously, aside from the uh, daily puzzles, but you'll be seeing those um, as occasional videos every so often. So, that's going to be it for the stream then. Thank you very much for coming. It's been fun. And a little uh, brain melting at times. <laughs> That's the entirety of this game done, so the next um, next Sunday we'll uh, be starting a different puzzly, mystery, detective-y game. <laughs> Since that seems to be the um, of what this slot is devoted to. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for coming! If you're new here and you've enjoyed your time, please consider subscribing to the channel. You can also follow me on social media, which is linked below. Uh, the streaming schedule gets posted both here on YouTube and over there on social media. This was the last scheduled stream of the week, so there'll be a new schedule up probably tonight and if not tomorrow morning. But the next uh, stream should be tomorrow, Monday. 7pm and that's gonna be more monochrome Mobius I believe so hope to see you then or another time once again thanks for coming and this is Kella signing out see ya bye bye